Okay, this is back during the days when I was in a band called Pinky the Stabber. And, um... This, Amazing man. Yeah, why, why, thank you. Amazing thank you very much. Man. Thank you. I, I liked us a lot. I, I wish we'd lasted longer than nine months, honestly. It was very, very brief. Yes, it was. It was brief but beautiful. It was like a supernova. It was like, here we are. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, c'est la vie. But, um... So, uh, we were playing a show at the Nick. It was going to be on Valentine's Day. And we were playing with the Flesh Tones. Flesh Tones. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it was, I remember this show. I was um, not there, but I remember this show. Well, um, I made a flyer for that show. Which I think I have a copy of. Really? The, the, it's got... That flyer almost got me involved in a lawsuit with UAB. Almost, almost got the Nick involved in a lawsuit with UAB, which would have gotten me involved. So here's what it was. There was a transgender supermodel that was in uh, that was in a James Bond movie. Her name was Caroline Cossey. Her nickname was Tula. Tula Cossey. Yeah. Now, we had her autobiography at the public library where I worked. And uh, there were some photographs in it. And there was a picture of her that was like a sort of a glamour shot. But she was topless, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, at the sa- at, now, at the same time, there was a copy of a magazine called American Health that had a cover story that said, Plastic Surgery, is it right for you? <laughs> okay. So, all this stuff is tying together in my mind already. Now, at home... I happened to have a paperback copy of a book about Ed Gein that had some photographs in it, including the photograph of his last victim. I don't know if you've ever seen that picture, but she's like decapitated, split from here to here, and hanging by her ankles, right? Um, so what? I, so what I did, because this is the way my mind works, is I took the picture of Ter- Carolyn Cossey and put it up in this corner. And I took the picture of Ed Gein's last victim and I put it in this corner. And underneath the picture of Tula Cossey, I wrote, this used to be a boy. And underneath the picture of Ed Gein's last victim, I wrote, this used to be a girl. And then underneath that was the headline that said, plastic surgery, is it right for you? <laughs> and, then, and then underneath that, I wrote, no, don't change a hair for me. Not if yeah. you care for me, which is from my yeah, funny yeah. Valentine. Yeah. S- <laughs> stay, funny Valentine. Stay and see Pinky the Stabber open for the flesh tones. Yeah. Now, I wrote Pinky the Stabber. A pinky was written in severed fingers that many of them had far too many joints, right? And Stabber was written in uh, everything in the word Stabber looked like blades, you know? I think the T, I think the T might have been a pair of scissors, even. <laughs> And uh, now that, except the two B's were hearts and, and, and the, the scissors were stabbing one of the hearts. And then uh, down at the very bottom, no, and it said at the yeah. Nick, you know, and Flesh Tones was just written in psychedelic letters, you know. And it said it was at the Nick and at the very bottom it said, dig up someone you love. And, uh, and uh, it didn't help that I took a red sh- No, it, it, it didn't help that I took a red Sharpie and I colored Tula's nipples and I, I colored the slash in, in Ed Gein's last victim and, you know, some blood coming out of one of the hearts where the scissors were going in and some shit like that. Um, I, did, I did that. I didn't do that to all of them, I don't think. So, so um, and they, oh yeah, and they were 11 by 17. They were fucking huge, right? And, um... Yes, yes. I and, have that flyer. No, yes. No, don't put it me. I've got that flyer. Yes, awesome. And I, I made white ones and I made pink ones. Right. Oh, shit. Now down at the Nick, I took a bunch of pink ones and I made a heart out of them that was like that was like eight feet high and surrounded it with white ones like lace. And then I took some other people's flyers and made an arrow going through the heart that you you could see from Highway 31 if you were driving over and you looked down. It's like, look, a big pink and white heart on the front of the dish. <laughs> hey, you know you you yes, that? yes, I got one. I got oh, one. Jesus. Don't squeeze it too hard. It's a flexi. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, 
So I rode my bicycle down to UAB one day. And I stayed. And I stapled up a whole crap ton of them in a couple of the buildings. Primarily the. Uh, Get the hell out of here. What. Uh, uh, Primarily the building, <laughs> where the building where all the like music and theater and stuff like that Whatever stuff that, was. I, don't know what it is. I I can't remember. the Halsey Center. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. hung up, hung up a whole right, right, bunch right. of them down there, and apparently some lady saw one of them, and she was just absolutely she was more than appalled. She was like righteously indignant and horrendously offended, and so. Uh, so she took a copy of the flyer and took it to the Student Government Association because she thought that UAB had something to do with the show. So naturally the guy or girl or whoever at the, at, at the SGA said, we don't know what this is about at all, but apparently the Nick has something to do with it. So somehow they got in touch with Pam and then she got in touch with Tim and they both left messages on my answering machine both of them saying, I don't know what the hell this flyer is that you made, but UAB is threatening some kind of legal action. And so you and so you better go back down there and take them all down. So I, so I come riding back to my apartment on my bicycle and I schlep up the stairs and I open the door and I see the little light blinking on my answering machine and I play the messages. It's like, oh shit, I'm in a fuck ton of trouble. <laughs> so I had to ride back down there. Good to see you, Lee. <laughs> I had to ride back down there and take every one of those flyers back down and take them home. So then I rode by Scotty's place and I tacked one to his door saying, Hey, Scotty, you wouldn't believe what happened when I tried hanging these flyers. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pretending to write with this hand because I'm left-handed. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> So that was a good one. That I was can't a good deal one. with it anymore. That was a good time. I can't stand it. 